Hi, welcome to RM Wraps. My name is Rennie Miller and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a refrigerator wrap using the 1080 3M vinyl material. And what it is, it is designed for uh, cars. But I'm actually applying it towards refrigerators and you can see how glossy it is and everything. Well, you can see right here, it's actually, you, what you're going to get is a box about this size. It's going to be 60 inches wide by six feet uh, for the for the length of the the refrigerator and the tools you will need to use to uh, install this refrigerator wrap is um, a squeegee so when you're applying it it goes evenly but I usually use the black so I don't scrape anything and also you can actually use your your ID card or anything that's stiff so you can get the air bubbles out um, you, then you need to use is um, alcohol and rubbing alcohol and you clean all around the edges and make sure there's no goops or anything like that and, and get all the, the flaws off of this one. Uh, next is using a knife. So when you have a knife, you get it open that and you can cut all around the edges right here. Cut the sides right here. Um, now the, the screwdriver is made for unscrewing these guys and anything else you need to unscrew to make it look level and nice um, and this is actually for cleaning purposes and it's 501 if you, if you need it you can I'm gonna pop this off and I'm gonna take it off and also take this thing off down here so it's nice and smooth so you don't see that bubbled edges so I'm doing this actually for my folks and and they have all you know they're getting all new appliances that um, you know new almost a new appliance but it doesn't match everything so this reason why I'm doing it is because I want them to match and this is a fine fridge and then they're happy with this fridge it'll probably last another 10 more years who knows but I'm trying to save the money and and make it more you know matching everything and they're gone for about two weeks, so I do this to them all the time. So. <laughs> uh, they're getting kind of used to what I, what I do, but it's more of appreciation. So this is a video after this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install and actually a time-lapse video. And you can see how easy it is to install this. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, I got done cleaning it, and here's one little tip uh, for helping your refrigerator act normal or whatever. Uh, is basically, sorry, I cleaned all the edges right here, and you should do this probably once a year, and also all around here where the magnet is, or the, yeah, where the magnet is, because a lot of times it gets dirty and it gets clunky. So to make your uh, refrigerator form a lot better, you need to here for instance, this is still dirty because you kind of see how dirty, well, it's a little dirty, but if I use the rubbing alcohol and clean it, it will still look much tighter. So that's all done cleaning right there. So I took the handles off right here, I took the top part off right here, bottom, I cleaned the top off and the sides and also this metal thing was right here so I took that off because it kind of made it look dated. Uh, other than that, now I'm ready to install. It took me about oh, 15 minutes to take everything off and clean everything and I'll take my time. Alright, let's ready to install this. Door and probably up to, I want to 
I'll say 10 inches this way and then whatever it is, I'm gonna put it that way because you, they're not gonna see the whole thing. Now if I was gonna do the full fridge, then I recommend getting uh, the three pieces of the, uh, of the roll to do every, and, and then you got extras, so you can, if you have extras, you can actually maybe do the dishwasher or uh, any other appliances you have in the kitchen. All right, let's measure it, and then I'm gonna cut it, and then we're gonna start it. Okay, we just got done wrapping the top part of the refrigerator, and you can see I wrapped all the way around the door, and even on the edges. Uh, it's half inch over here. Uh, next, what I need to do is hit the bottom, and then um, use the heat gun to even sink in even more. I you really don't have to use the heat gun. It's just like like this kind of stuff. You use a heat gun, it'll sink it in even more, or even around the edges. Uh, and it'll seal the heat, uh, it'll seal it up even more. But that's that's the top part. This is the bottom part. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. All right, here's a little trick I learned. If you pull, roll it on the bottom and pull it down, the, the vinyl is evenly stretched. So it's easier to actually apply the vinyl onto the door. All right, so there you have it. We just wrapped the refrigerator, uh, the whole thing. For It took me about, honestly, it took me about an hour and a half to do. But I was taking my time, and I was holding things around, I was cleaning it, and I was taking things apart. Uh, but this is it, this is the end product. And so now everything matches together, right there. And it matches, and it looks great. Nice, clean, black refrigerator and uh, other than that uh, you can see I didn't do the top I there's gonna be full stuff on top anyways but that requires more material and I didn't have enough material for that okay hopefully you enjoyed the video if, if you're learning a little something about wrapping refrigerator uh, and if you want to order from my uh, RM wraps website just go there I have tons and tons of images and I do also do custom design uh, refrigerators and door wraps and trim molding wraps and everything so just go check it out. Uh, my name is Randy Miller and I'll